Alright, what's up everyone? We're just jumping in here. Will is here. I'm here. Alright. So, uh, hopefully I got this title right. We're going over the nihilistic hide arts today. Let me know if you can hear us by giving me a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to put on a little microphone. So, I need feedback actually to do that. Uh, because I don't know if it's going to work. So let's try it out. No, it's not working. Well, it doesn't work in my case. Here we go. Let me try it again. There we go. Okay. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up. Nihilistic Hide Arts. Experiment. 412. So we've done nihilistic hide arts before. Why is it an experiment? Uh, it's an experiment because it's new cut. Uh, it's recut. Not new cut. It's recut. It's like the iteration language. I think that's cool. Um, you still got to speak up. <laughs> um, well, then give me a mic. Give yeah, me yeah a mic. I, we, do, we, we need a boom mic. mic. Me up, okay? We need a boom Producing. mic. Yeah. I know. Right? I would love to. Um, because we recut the pant and made it, in my opinion, better. And I, I feel really like urgent about this. Is a really good pant. I feel urgent about these pants. I've been wearing them nonstop, and this is like kind of the last of the fabric, I think. Yeah, that we have here. That's correct. Um, and I'm like kind of sad about it, but so we have them for sale now, so you can get them. Um, cool. <laughs> All right, so. Um, We'll get into questions. We'll get into all kinds of stuff. Uh, first, we do our ode to Abe. <laughs> Abe's in Europe doing trade show stuff, hunting for new fabric, and actually specifically looking for a fabric like this, this nihilistic, which so far he's not been able to find. And this is really the last of it that we have. So if you like this, uh, it might be time to get it. Um, but yeah, so here we go. This is what New York looks like. It's actually blue skies, sunny. It's been like that yesterday, today. Um, but kind of chilly, right? It's like below freezing a little bit, I think. And yeah, it's cold out. Yeah, it's a little bit cold, but you know, that that's okay. We can handle it and it looks beautiful out and we like the sun, so that's been good. The sun brought these nihilistic hide arts. And then we're going to go over the new Estus. There's um, some talk on those as to what that product really means, what it is. Uh, it's right here. I'm going to uh, flash it. Okay, so this is my worn pair. It's basically a work cloth bomb do. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. But. <laughs> But for, um, for today, what's going up at 1 o'clock, uh, for sale at 1 o'clock, is this Nihilistic Hide Arts. Okay. Um, okay, let's talk about it. Um, two front outward facing pleats on this guy. Um, we breathe from the last run, we looked at this pleat a little bit. Um, Actually, yeah. it's rough. Yes. I have an old pair here. Oh yeah, oh great. Okay, cool. Okay, go um, ahead. Well now I'm scared because I'm like, what if I misspeak about what we changed? Well, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, let's just go through the details and I'll tell you, I'll show you what we did in the fitting. Um, I love it. So this is a lot of self. I was really indulgent in this pant. It's one of my nasty habits, but you become better for it. The, the customer, becomes better for it. <laughs> um, is, what, is it what is self, Willie? Self, self is the fabric that the whole thing is made out of. Okay. Like the majority of it. So sometimes you have combos, but self is like the combos. skin. Combos? <laughs> A combo is like the, the, the other thing, the other fabric that you're using. Yeah. And, um, I've gone up to six combos before in oh. one garment. Damn. And I want to go to 10. That's a big bill of materials. Yes. All right, so what we're talking about in self is that uh, it's the actual fabric that is comprised of the garment. Yes. Um, so that makes up the waistband. Um, sometimes you see in waistbands that this is a, this is a, 
a, a pocketing or another fabric. And I think in this case, the self on it feels so right. This pants just sits on you. Um, the back pocketing, the top pocket back here is also self. Under is self right. So it's not too, too thick. Um, the pocket bags are, all both the pocket bags in the front are self-lex. Beautifully yeah, fitted, clean finished, like got it. Stunning stuff here. Swan on the inside. Beautiful. Does that show through on the outside? No. <laughs> no, it does not. All right, it's only on the pocket. Um, nice zipper here. Per intentionally put a metal zip zipper here. Um, Beautiful. Got this. Like a I don't. We need. A, do we have a word for this? Like this. Bar tack. I know. We, I know it's a bar tack. <laughs> but the. the <laughs> the the yeah. location there, like it's like a, it just it helps with the overall like lifespan of of the. Um, of yeah, the that's actually uh, so. Willie was mocking me there a little bit because obviously Willie is a huge head of bar tax and loves to put it on all yeah. her clothing and and actually there's a little hidden one right there. Oh, love that! It's so beautiful. Um, and then you got the darts, which are to me the signing feature of this silhouette. Um, I think it really does give this a nice drape um, on the body. And this fabric in a, in a pleated pant like this could so quickly go into like biz casual territory. And I really feel that these are just like elegant. You know, there's, there's just a nice, nice, nice pair of pants um, and doesn't really have overt like suiting feelings um because i've been wearing this gray this gray is like it's not something i'd usually wear but in this pant i'm loving it um big fifth pocket here i've been talking about this a lot so this is just um you know no i want to see you go in okay. oh. <clears throat> there we go oh. and fits nice and neat look at that you can't even see it yeah, you can't even see it Yep. This rig works. <laughs> it's amazing. That is, that's scary. And that actually is holding up. And you're like, I don't know, Willie. <laughs> but it's And there. I'm like, yeah. I do know. <laughs> yeah, Willie knows. Willie knows. Okay. Woo! Okay, so big fifth. Side teams. Okay, what we did, the main change here in this is we, I just like... Fix the button. Okay. I did this. I lifted it. I lifted it up. There was a little. Um, I felt there was a little too much fabric um, in the back. But and I just you know I like so a butt to look good. Yes. Shamelessly is a per noble pursuit. <laughs> um, and um, so I lifted it up a bit, and I just think it gives a nice um, a, be a better shape. Really That's lifting, nice. Li yeah, exactly. Butt lifting, excellent. Um, Belt loops, kind of standard, two on the back, not a center one. Um, sorry, two center back, front one. Um, and then I think there is, yeah, there's a double turn back in this hem. So what that means is it's like... We could actually, if you want to try, we could actually do it live on the old one, if you want to try. Do you have a seam ripper? I do, I have all that stuff here and it's kind of fun. But um, oh, okay. before is it I guess one? you get into that, so that is a detail and we'll go over that. Yeah. Super cool. Uh, the leg is a little bit wider than the last. The leg one. is a little bit wider. Uh -huh. yeah. It's not so quite so tapered. Um, oh, fun fact is that you know Abe, taught, said it. Yeah, Abe taught me this. I didn't know this shit. <laughs> like you use this piece as like the catcher to like break the stitch. Okay, show and me the which piece. The pointy one. Yep. And then so you break the stitch, mm -hmm. and then you switch it over to where this like ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the ball side, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of like run it along. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't slice into the fabric. It's pretty yeah. exceptional. So that is a seam ripper. This yeah. is a seam ripper tool. It can be used for all types of alterations, including uh, any types of uh, labels that need to be taken off or double turn back hems that you want to let and out. My dream, um, this is Seam Ripper, like the Seam Ripper is my dream collaboration. I don't know with who. <laughs> who it makes, was, this, who makes the best I, Seam I Ripper? I really want to do a, um, a Sill collaboration. Yeah, me too. I love Sill. Um, Those guys, we've been working with Sill threads in the Manhattan, 
the Garment District. Since we started, they were our, one of our first suppliers for all kinds of stuff. I'm convinced it's Rats, a liminal buttons. place. Yeah. Like, it's like an airport. Like, the time doesn't exist there. Yeah. Okay. So, see, I did almost all of it. All right, so what we're showing here is what is a double turn back hem mean? Okay. This is the this is an old uh, nihilistic hide arts, so pretty sure it's on this one. Because if it's not, then <laughs> we got a big no, reveal is. problem. But uh, here we go. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> right, so this is the normal. This is a stitch line, and then so then you pull it down, um, and then oh, there's more fabric. But then there's more fabric in there. See, there you go. It's so double this turn back. It's hiding. This is this is where the original finished point was. Was right here. Um, and then you can get all the way down there. Uh, you, you know, you, you have to figure out a way to finish it with your tailor. But I don't know. This is a this is a, like a tailor's dream. This type of hat. What, what um, are we looking at in terms okay, of inches? Okay, so net added length. Yeah, let's see what that is. Is I think it's one and a half. So on this one, it's, oh, it's two and a half. Yeah. So two and a half, which would really realistically probably like I would say you could get with a clean finish hem still you could get an inch and a half inch and three quarters more length or you could wear it raw and have that be the vibe cool all right, um, all right so that's what a double turn back hem is uh, in case you didn't know um, I'll get into this fabric a little bit um, so this is actually helpful because like, we got this little yarn here all right, so nihilistic, what is it? It is an 18.5 top cap merino, um, intimately blended with a nylon. And so that is 70% merino wool and 30% nylon. Um, it is washable and you can put it in the dryer uh, on I need that. Oh, fuck. Sorry. That's my, uh... <laughs> oh my god, it's my, it's my tick. If there's like the red Get rid of the thread. No, I, want... <laughs> I need to talk about it. Uh, so, yeah, so the charcoal, um, it's going to shrink up about an inch in length, whereas the over dyed black has already been shrunk in in the fabric form, so it will not shrink. So when we're saying that uh, the charcoal will shrink up, it's only in length. So, you know, you're looking at like losing an inch here. Um, all the other measurements, the width measurements, um, we've measured to be the same. Okay, so what is an intimately blended uh, yarn look like? Well, it looks kind of like this. You wanna hold, yeah. See if we can get there. Am I right. zooming in? Yeah, sure. Just try to zoom in. I can't even see this actually. Well, here, put it not on that. Yeah. Wow. All right. Oh my god, I love fabric. Yeah. So what you're seeing here is hopefully you can see this. This yeah. is a two ply. Two ply yarn. See the little? There's two yarns there, right? And they're kind of twisted together, and that makes a two ply. Um, so when I unravel it here. You can see that. And then if I was to take those apart, what you're going to see at this little part here is um, intimately blended means that the merino and the nylon is beautifully blended together. At the so, yarn level. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so the fibers of the two are blended together at the yarn level. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Um, and that makes for... It's quite a difficult process to do because you have to have the the right blend and the right um, the nylon has to be in the right place with compared to the merino and then you turn it into yarn. Um, but that's what uh, that's what allows you to be able to make this yarn and then and have these two together and then make a ply out of it. So it's two ply and then it's woven. Uh, and then it's woven into this plain weave here, which a plain weave is just <clears throat> one over one. And that's what the fabric is. And we love this fabric. I love this fabric. I'm going to tell you, I love this fabric. I, I will go on record why, saying that I love this fabric. The reason why I love this fabric is I wore it a lot. I think it wears amazing as pants in particular. I'm really a pant lover for this particular fabric. It's 350 GSM. Um, 
And it just, I can wear it in a really wide temperature range. I get like a ton of use out of it. So I can wear it from cold days like today all the way up to, you know, I don't know, like 60s degrees weather. Mm -hmm. So you get a lot of months of use out of it. Um, I guess the one draw drawback of that, though, if if you wear it a lot, you might see some um, some pilling over time, like this. Uh, so if you are have a backpack or something like that, it's gonna pill, but you can, can you uh, take a look at this part? You can just pull them off. They come off quite easily. And you can get like a little fabric shaver to shave it off. But I just want people to know that uh, over time, these have been washed and worn, you know, for a few years now. You will get uh, some pilling, but it comes right off if you care for it. Okay, great. I dry clean these pants, don't tell anyone. Yeah, you can do that too. All right, just the fit. I'm wearing a size 30. I'm 163 and six foot tall. And I think for me, size 30 is absolutely perfect. I tried. 29, try 31, this is the right one for me. They look great. They fit pretty perfect. So, any questions on this product? Um, I don't see any, any questions. Anyone have any questions? No? You haven't seen any? Oh, there's a bunch of like questions about other releases, but if there's questions about this product, we can get into it. I'm going to give you back. All right. All right. So next up, um, oh, what was the problem of being led to being discontinued? Okay. All right. Good question. It's not, com it's not completely discontinued in terms of the nihilistic. It's that the mill that makes it, I've been there, an amazing place. Um, super technical, they can make amazing wovens. In fact, they have done a ton of stuff for us in the past. Uh, maybe I'll go on camera for this. Yeah, so we're talking about um, the mill in Thailand that makes our nihilistic fabric. Um, they've done actually a ton of stuff for us in the past, and when I went to go visit them, it was like a trip down memory lane because we did the Merino Co. with them, we did the Oko, like any of our woven shirtings had been done with this, this mill. And they did, um, they did the Ripstop Merino from like 2010, like we're talking like, they have done all of our, uh, well not all of them, but quite a few of our uh, woven merinos, uh, anything with blended cotton for sure. And they, you know, after talking to the mill owner, he was saying that he just doesn't like dyeing it. He has a really hard time dyeing it, and the stuff stretches out in a weird way, and it doesn't set very well. In fact, the whole reason uh, why this is over dyed black is because there was shading on the dyeing process uh, of the color that it was before, and therefore we had to make it more uniform so that we could turn it into a garment. Um, but yeah, they are not very good at the dyeing aspect um, on this particular, like any, anything with wool, they, they have a hard time dying. So it's not technically discontinued. It's just, we're trying to work with them to figure out if it makes sense moving forward. So for now, this is the last of this nihilistic. Um, and that's also a thing that Abe's doing right now out in Europe is like looking for replacements for this and amongst a lot of other things. Um, but he actually hasn't found anything. So, yeah, that is the story on that. All right, so I, we're having a request for me untucked or something. You look great. Okay, so moving on, we got another product. It's gonna go live on Thursday. Um, and we're calling.
calling this the S Deuce. Okay, this, this is actually um, a pant that I've worn, so you'll, that's why it's kind of like wrinkly, because uh, I kind of just took them off right before we started. But this is the S Deuce, and what is this pant? Um, so what it is is our work cloth. So if you know the Slim Dungarees, if you've ever heard of the Slim Dungarees, this is the same work cloth material, but done in the bomb dues pattern. Um, but it sews up a little bit different, and we'll get into those nuances. Um, but, you know, as the trend moves towards more relaxed styles and not so slim, uh, we wanted to try this one. So this is the next experiment that's coming out on Thursday that will be released and available to buy on Thursday. Uh, you want to take us through? Yeah, I mean, this is the Bomb Dew um, pattern. Um, and what that is, is it's like I have this tendency recently of just explaining things by zoomed in. It's, 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 you know, it's the same kind of overall proposition as the Slim Dungarees, but just a different <coughs> flavor. Um, it's a slightly uh, more, it's a slightly easier cut. It's not as tight uh, on your body. Um, and but it still has kind of all the details. It feels like it's like part of the Slim Dungaree family, but it's that these are the S dues. Um, they are made um, out of our work cloth, which is one of our oldest running fabrics, but one that does like I kind of don't touch that much because it feels weird a little bit to touch it, you know. And just like she found her home, and I like to like leave it there. And so we added. Um, we we're like, all right. Flavors are changing. Let's 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 try it out. What, what else can we do? So, we put the work cloth in the bomb dew pattern, which is also a five pocket pant. Um, one, two, three. The have this is not the big fifth. This is the I don't know what the name for this is. Uh, angled. Angled. angled fifth angled pocket. Coin pocket. Um, which is kind of you know really visually puts it strongly into like a denim world. Um, Two patch pockets, back yoke, reverse. That, yeah. Yep, um, reverse back yoke lines up beautifully with that pocket. Really nice. Um, always an easy thing to do there. Just requires a little more uh, intention in the sewing. Um, then it has rivets. Top top it off with the rivets, which are um, the same ones we use in the Sun Dungarees. And they also added to that that denim denim language. Um, should we use these ones? Is this new? That's new. Like the yeah. other ones we were just looking okay. at were the ones I've been wearing. I like, I like the. Yeah. You like the worn in? The used one. Yeah, the worn in look. But okay, so moving on to a new pair. Um, yeah, same deal. Suplex pocketing. Oh. Nylon. Um, nylon six six pocketing. Nylon waistband here. I love this contrast waistband. Um, it makes me mem re remember the pant. Uh, you know, it just gives it a little bit more visual identity, and it's a little secretive in my mind. Cool. Is the someone's asking if there is a gusset in the crotch? And no, there is not. There is no gusset. Nope. Um, and that's part of you know there could there could be there could be a gusset. In um, but you don't, in wearing these, you're not, I don't think you're really um, craving it. The, the gusset works beautifully in the Slim Dungarees because it's quite slim. It's slim, yeah, it's super um, slim. This doesn't really need yeah. it, right? I don't, I do not think it needs it. Um, alright, so... Gussets are a great thing to think about, in theory. They don't often do what you think they're going to do. Some cases, yes. All right, so that page is up. Um, let's just see if I can pull it out here. There. So here's the page, um, and this is when it's going to be available Thursday. All right. So we got some cool new video here too, somewhere, so you can really see that how it looks. Um, I'll put it on for anybody that wants to see it. Uh, how many colors? It is just this color. 
Oh, I love how that um, product page looks on the live. With that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's good, that's good right? Yeah. So these will go up uh, Thursday, and uh, and I'll put them on. Um, for this, okay, in terms of sizing and things like this, um, I took a size 30. I think they're true to size. They are, for me, um, they run tighter than the bomb do. Um, it's the type of fabric that they're sewn up in and just sews up smaller, uh, which is actually right because we tried it first and made sure that it was all correct before going into production with them um but as people probably know the slim dungarees do stretch out over time and this will have the same effect although i haven't found it to be as great a degree as the slim dungarees in terms of stretch out um maybe that's just because they're looser and you just don't feel it as much, but they stretch out to be, so when you first put them on, they're a little bit tight, then after a day's wear, they are like a, for me, a perfect fit. Um, so I'll put these on and maybe Willie can go over some detail. That zipper, boom, I don't know what that is. Um, no double hook turn back here, just kind of standard. But yeah, this fabric is really beautiful. I mean, it's like it's like one of those things that reminds you. It's like, oh yeah, I work. Like the beautiful inner of it feels so good on your skin. There was a request for more. More work cloth. Okay, what do you guys? What do I make on work cloth? Inspire me. I dare you. <laughs> Maybe there might be a jacket in works right now with work cloth. Um, I think I just need to put a roll of it next to me and have it, um, have it speak to me. That's really what demands. That's how the best products are, are made. Um, okay, Tyler is putting on his pants now. Uh, Um, let me know if anyone has any more questions. I'm just gonna, after this, I'm gonna go work um, on ideas and get in my little, um, my cave. <laughs> oh, this tank, okay, this is, we have the new earth rib coming out again. I refit the tank, it's really good. Um, but this is in the hard co, the hard co rib, which is like a, fabric exp material experiment we did um, and it's really nice I never would have pictured doing that but will there be more bomb do yes and here's Tyler wow these look great wow these look like they should look yeah they're like not skin tight yep there's a little bit of looseness there they're really comfortable um, the waist Right. That's a That's 30. The size I, I usually wear. Spot on. Great. So that's it. Yeah. Okay. So someone, um, someone wants you to, to describe the color. Blue, gray. Uh, I think it's dark indigo. One second. One second. Could be blue tint gray. <laughs> I know. I think they're. I think they're asking more like, what is the color, not just the name. It's like a. I don't. This is a hard question, actually. Blue, gray. It's like both. Oh, it's dark navy. Dark navy? Dark ink is dark the ink. name of the color. All right, so this has... This reads to me... Oh. I know, is this a hard question? Good, <laughs> good question, whoever asked those are, that. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, it's definitely, like, got a blue... Uh, undertone. Saturation. Like navy, yeah, like a navy s undertone to it, but it reads sort of gray in a lot yes, of ways. Yes, it does. Yeah. But, um, there's, but what kind of like emanates is this. Put that, dark that's like a true, yeah. like, kind of gray. Charcoal, yeah. That's a charcoal. So this is next to it. And you, now it looks, now it makes it look way more blue. But when it's alone, you do see a bit, you, it can read a bit as gray. So. Yeah. 
Um, and that I found that that color is works to its benefit for especially for pants because it makes it um, a bit more versatile. Actually, the whole reason why I wore this was because so it's kind of like eyes. Actually, if you have like different color eyes or whatever, like um, you wear a blue, yeah, it'll pull out the blue in the pants, right? Mm -hmm. And so that this has blue in it, and it pulls out that blue, and it looks fantastic together, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a great app. Okay, it's 1301. Okay. Um, there was another question, and it was on the overkill mesh tank. What's the sizing like on the glass run compared to this one? Um, overkill mesh tank sizing. Um, to me, the, the it's very true. Like, the, the current one for sale is quite accurate to size. Um, the difference between previous run and this run is we shifted it up a size. Um, so a previous size large is now a size medium. That's right, right? Previous size large is, yes, correct. Yeah, and vice versa. So um, it just, we just, it was a kind of clean shift. Um, uh, so has a kind of point of comparison, um, but right now, if you know, you had no intra, no per previous knowledge of that product, I would say that it's pretty um, true to size for a, a close to body, uh, but not like tight, 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 tight fit. Um, okay, um, any more questions? What's coming next week? What? Um, I don't know. We're working on it. We're working on getting stuff. This is coming it. Thursday. <laughs> yeah, let's start there. This is this week. And right now. And then this is right now. All right, so recap. Um, Experiment 412, nihilistic hide arts in overdyed black, charcoal. The black we have not found to uh, shrink, but the charcoal will shrink up in length about an inch when you wash and dry it. Uh, although the width measurements uh, stay the same. That should be live now, meaning for sale wow, now. I've never stood up here. And <laughs> this is the s in work cloth. Um, and this is the original bomb dew pattern. So it has an inseam length of 30. Um, and those go up Thursday at 1 o'clock. And that's dark ink in that color. So that is the review. Try to clean those shrinkage. I don't know, I can't actually it. I don't know. Uh, can I give it a, another preview of the spray dew colors? Uh, not at the moment, because I'd have to go get them. It's like a whole thing. Um, Okay, so dry clean, no shrinkage. Yes, you could take it to a professional cleaner and there shouldn't be any shrinkage uh, for however they do, but um, I can't promise that because I don't know exactly what they're using. Um, but in my experience, there should not be shrinkage when you take it to a dry cleaner to do it through a professional cleaning like that. Um, okay, someone really likes the new sizing on the overkill all right cool if there's nothing else then we're gonna head out so see you later <laughs> but will you're gonna have to help